What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to clean really nasty rims and tires using the Meguiar's line of products. And we're really going to be highlighting the Meguiar's wheel and paint iron decon. So guys, I want to get my hands on this iron decon for quite a while and now car guy supplies carries the meguiar's line of products and they're carrying an awesome selection of products and they keep adding more and more stuff so right now we're going to be trying out the iron decon on my nasty sequoia wheels up front here this isn't super baked on brake dust but it is really bad and i want to see how well this stuff removes the iron particles, reacts to it, and then we'll go ahead and clean the rest of the wheel and the tire and then dress it as well. So let me give you a rundown of the products that we're using from Meguiar's and then this one other extra product. So we have, first of all, the Iron Decon product right here. We have Meguiar's Citrus Power Cleaner Plus diluted one to 10. So we'll be using that to clean the tire. We also have wheel brightener. So I'll be using this on one of the tires and kind of go head to head with the Iron Decon. Two different types of products and really the Iron Decon is not considered a typical wheel cleaner. It is an iron remover. So yes it will clean the wheel but it's not meant as a dedicated wheel cleaner as the wheel brightener is. And then we're going to dress it with hyperdressing. So I haven't used hyperdressing in quite a while. I've actually been using some other Chemical Guys products but I've switched back to using the hyperdressing and I don't have it diluted in here. I have it straight, which I used to dilute it one to one and I found it a little bit too watery. So I use it straight and it produces much nicer results. So now let me show you what I'm using as far as tools. Now you've seen me use this brush on the interior. Well, you can have a couple of different brushes. You can have one for your interior for dry dusting, one for your wet work or using with an all-purpose cleaner and all the nasty interior bits, or you can use it on the wheels to get into your lug nuts. So this is an awesome brush to use for wheel cleaning, exterior, emblems, wheels, all that stuff. So we're gonna use this brush. We're also gonna be using this brush here, and I know I've really used this one, but this is the Easy Detail Brush, and I like the smaller version as opposed to the other larger version. Um, I find that this one doesn't flick back as much of the brake dust and dirt and grime off of the wheel. So I like the smaller version here. I can get into tighter areas, tighter spots. And then we're going to be using this brush for the tire itself. All of these brushes here, again, you can find at Car Guy Supplies. I'll put all the links to this stuff down below. And I also have two other brushes, which these are generic wheel brushes. This is a, an aggressive tire brush here. And then this is a softer face wheel brush here. So we can use a variety of these. Use whatever brushes you like. So I'm gonna put all of these in the bucket and we'll use all of them. So guys, let's get started on this nasty wheel. Here's the wheel. It is pretty bad. It's been about maybe two weeks, but you can see it will clean right up. You've seen me clean these wheels in previous videos and they clean up great, but it is pretty heavy brake dust. I'm gonna show you how the wheel and paint iron decon works on here. And I'm gonna be applying it dry. So first of all, I'm gonna fill up my bucket with water, some car shampoo to make this nice and foamy because that again limits any kickback from the brush. Let's use the Iron Decon and I'm using it dry. So completely undiluted. You don't dilute this mixture at all. Comes ready to use. And let me just say up front, Iron Decons never smell good. This one I think smells the worst. If we're looking at pros and cons, that's one of the biggest cons. It smells like farts. It smells like farts. It just does. It does not smell good at all. I have to say maybe Iron X smells better than this stuff. However, that is what it is. Take that for whatever it is. It's just a smelly product. Iron Decons are just smelly products. It's had maybe 10 seconds to dwell and let's bring you in and show you how it's reacting. So you can really see it reacting to the particles. So it's dissolving the iron particles. Yep, it's working really, really well. Working as it should. So again, you don't necessarily use this as a dedicated wheel cleaner, but it can clean wheels. If it's going to clean brake dust and dissolve those iron particles, then essentially it works great as a wheel cleaner. Now you can use this on your paint also. So we'll see if we have any particles on our Sequoia. We may in the back panel, so we'll test that out also. So while I'm at it, I'm also going to spray Citrus Power Clean on the tire and let that start to break down 
grime and dirt and junk on the tire itself. And then let's get to cleaning the inside of the wheel. And again, with all of this foam here, it limits kickback from the brush. It doesn't completely take it away, but it, it definitely helps. Now I'm gonna take my little lug nut brush and use this to agitate into these areas. And really you can clean the whole face of the wheel with this. It's a little bit more tedious, but it's also very satisfying. Now let's use the tire brush. All right, now let's stand back and give this a rinse. Yeah, did a really, a really good job. So I'm gonna spray a little bit more just to see if it catches anything else. You never know, sometimes in here it'll catch some more iron particles. So we'll let that sit. So is this product safe to use on paint? Sure it is. You can put it on dry. Let's see if we get any reactions. Now, ideally you want to do this after you wash the vehicle, but I'm doing this for demonstration purposes because I wanna see how well it does at dissolving these particles. And you can already see it starting to react. And here, there's some bits that are starting to turn purple and bleed. Down here, definitely, some areas that are turning purple and bleeding. There's like a heavy buildup of some iron ferrous particles in there. Overall, it's not horrible. It's just little tiny dots that are starting to turn purple and react all throughout the panel. Especially down here, you can see more. Yeah, there we go. You can tell it's kind of a nice, thicker, foamy formula, and it really clings to the paint. Of course, don't do this in direct sunlight. Do it in shade. If you're gonna do it in direct sunlight, make sure to watch the panel and uh, do not let the product dry. So it's doing a good job of breaking down these particles. So let's see our wheel. Did it find any more? Yeah, it did. It found some more particles. So do this as many times as you feel comfortable, as many times as you want to make sure that everything is deconned. And this will ensure that all of those iron particles are removed. Hi, buddy. So let's go back to our driver's side. We're gonna dry the wheel and we're going to dry the tire and apply a dressing. These are looking nice and clean. You can use a blower if you want to blow dry these wheels, these tires. The great thing about using a water-based dressing is even if there is a little bit of water on here, it's not a big deal. So you have two different ways of applying. You can use a brush like this, which is my go-to, or you can use an applicator. Really, this is just a four inch polishing pad. I don't use it as a polishing pad. I use it as a tire dressing applicator, and it's, a, it's actually a really good option. But I'm gonna use the brush here because it gets into all the little grooves, and I like this application better. You could spray it onto the tire or onto the brush. Let's spray it onto the brush first. If I need more, then I'll apply more. but this applies the dressing evenly. And if you do get any pockets of dressing, just work the brush into those areas and make sure that the dressing is distributed evenly over all the lettering, over all the grooves. Ooh, that's nice. So this dressing is nice. I know it's a favorite of many detailers, just a simple water-based dressing. You can dilute it up to one to four, but I find that you lose the shine and it dries out much faster. I just apply it straight. I know it's a little bit more pricey that way, but look at the results. It looks so nice. And you can apply this to the inside of your wheel wells, to the rubber pieces like this, and it produces a really nice shine. Now, I guess if you want it glossier, you can apply a second layer. Let this dry a little bit, apply a second layer, and it gets a little bit glossier, but this is the look that it's going to stay at pretty much, which is fine with me. I like a new tire or natural satin finish look to tires. I don't like them super glossy. If you like this look, then definitely pick up some hyperdressing. 
Okay guys, so that does it for cleaning the wheels and the tires and using the Meguiar's Iron Decon. So I know this has been out for a couple of years now, but finally got my hands on it because Car Guy Supplies now carries it. And Car Guy Supplies also carries the Meguiar's secondary bottles. This is really important to me. It's actually something that I want to talk to different companies about supplying at least labels, if not nice screen printed bottles like this. Because for one thing, it's all OSHA approved bottles because they have all of the chemical directions on here, the warnings, all the contents. For safety purposes, it's good, but it also helps you with dilution ratios. So the bottle here for the hyper dressing, for instance, has all the dilution ratios right here from one to one to four to one. And again, these bottles just look nice. Don't you want your setup to have all these nice bottles pre-labeled and these will last a long time because they're screen printed right on. Now, if companies don't want to spend the money to do that, then at least provide labels that can go both on 32 ounce bottles or 16 ounce bottles. That would just make everything look way more professional and it would also be OSHA approved and it would have all the information on there. I know I have some bottles in my trailer right now that are unmarked and I have to basically open them up and smell them. So thank you Meguiar's for making these. I know a couple of other companies are catching on and making secondary bottles or at least secondary labels. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and definitely go pick up some of the products now at Car Guy Supplies. You can pick up a ton of Meguiar's products, their full gallon products, their bottles, all sorts of stuff. So again, thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you're enjoying content like this, then like the video, give it a thumbs up, share with others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So have a safe week. We'll see you next time. Take care.